Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm here to talk about the problem with PvP and deep voting. Now the problem with PvP is mainly, it's not really that rewarding. Chime isn't rewarding, there's just nothing, no real reason to do PvP right now. Of course, there's also the new system that they're going to bring in this next Monday update, if you haven't seen it before. There's going to be, one, 15 rounds will no longer send you to layer 2, which is honestly something that's really nice. Right now, leaving layer 2 is mainly just a chore. It takes like 5 minutes to kill Bone Keeper and Deep Delve out. But what's really important about this next Monday update that's going to be released is a new item, most likely a Depths Relic, that will be able to make a Void Zone on demand in any location, and anyone gripped in this Void Zone will be sent to the Depths, of course. But the real big thing about this Void Zone is upon being gripped with this new Deep Relic, the Void Zone will summon a portal in which other players, allies or not, will be able to follow the grip individual into the depths. Now, neither party will spawn with iframes or shield upon spawning in, so you just spawn in and you're combat tagged and there will be no loading screen. The gripped individual will not be able to log out until their opponent is defeated or the combat tag runs out. And the combat tag is refreshed, so it might last a minute, might last more because it's a void zone, I'm not really sure. Now they also stated that complications caused by this item such as spawning in bad servers or just dying because of lag are quote unquote tough and they're not going to have any countermeasures in place. Now I can tell you right here and right now this is not going to be a up good update at all. The thing is, think back on the days where everyone would gank at Prim, right? Why did people gank at Prim? Well one, people were farming there and Prim had good loot. And additionally, you could get something very special from Prim you would very likely get an enchant. Now, enchants back in the day, before they released Laplace and Layer 2 and enchant stones and all that, they were worth about a crypt or a curved. You could trade an enchant for a crypt or a curved blade of winds. They were that rare. And, of course, you could drop them on death back then. So ganking at Prim, you could steal the loot and have a good chance of getting an enchant. There's probably a lot of people there because Prim back then was pretty hard to fight and it was really rewarding. And if you died, typically, if you died, then you would get sent to the depths because of Prim. But not always. So Prim had everything that made ganking good. It was kind of high risk because spawning in Prim has a long cooldown and it was a pretty hard boss to fight back then. You had reward, which was, oh, you might get an enchant, which was rare and valuable. And, of course, you had fun. There was a lot of people there. There wasn't too much BS going on. It was a fun gank. Now, what's wrong with this new Void Zone they plan on adding? Well, one, it's simply too risky. Think back to uh, Rogue Lineage, right? Would you ever gank when you had potential wipe? Would you ever gank on one life? No, why would you? It's just not smart. So why do they think forcing people to gank in the depths is a smart thing to do in the first place? I get, you can call me no skill, but I, just, I don't want to lose all my progress in a single gank. It's just not what I want to do. Do I want to risk a little bit and get a little bit of that adrenaline? Sure, yeah, that's fun, but I don't want to risk my entire character and all my stuff that I've been working on, you know? Now, another thing that's going to be a problem with this is, of course, you're not going to be able to get into the region you want to get into. That's going to be a big problem with a lot of laggier players. And even more so, there's probably just going to be a lot of flutters. I doubt it's going to be fun because people are going to flood to remove any chance of them losing a depth gang. They're just going to flood, and it's not going to be fun. You're going to get 10 v one now, additionally, this is either going to work how they want it to or it's not. So I think what they're going for here is you're forced to death gank. But I think with all the spawns that are in the depths, unless you spawn directly on that player, most likely they're just going to be able to run away and log in the first place. And it's not really going to matter. And it's just going to be a little annoying. And honestly, that's probably the way it should be. Because if not, if everyone spawns on each other and there's no loading screen and no FF, and it's just a free-for-all the second you spawn in. If you have a lower NPC, you will simply lose. You'll get M1 three, four, five times when you're in the loading screen and just die. And that's all there is to it. I want y'all's opinion on this. I just simply don't think it's going to be a good update. I don't think this is what's needed to revive overworld PvP. I think what is honestly needed to revive overworld PvP is let Prim drop legendary weapons. Hear me out. Give Prim that rarity buff. Give Prim that rarity buff. And maybe even add a way to spawn a harder prim, like an OG large primidon that does more damage, drops better stuff, more loot, 
it would be more rewarding to gank at, but maybe with a larger cooldown. With the addition of Etheron, and Etheron being an instant server, the best loot you can get in the game right now is really just by fighting Etheron. It's really the most consistent way of getting legendary weapons. You could say Hell Mode, but not so much. And also, nobody really ganks during Hell Mode just because of how much stuff is going on. And if you're not on a PvE build, it can be pretty easy to wipe during Hell Mode. What I, I'm really asking for is not a special new prim, but I'm asking for a non-instanced server boss to come deep woken for players to fight and get loot at. To bring back kind of what OG deep woken had with primadon ganking. Anyways, let me know what y'all think. And that's all for now. See ya.